so we just landed in Chiang Mai and there are elephants everywhere. So guys, if you haven't already noticed, the elephant is actually the national animal of Thailand. So it's not that hard to imagine why so many people when they come to Thailand, one of the main things on their agenda is to ride an elephant, get a picture on the elephant for the gram, or just to interact with these beautiful creatures. Looking at all the sanctuaries and parks, it's pretty clear that they have a zero tolerance for elephant riding, the use of hooks and chains. This made sense to me. I'd seen so much online media that told me never to ride an elephant in Thailand. So, with all this hype, there must be something pretty seriously wrong with riding elephants. Or is there? There is absolutely nothing wrong with riding an elephant. And while it's not obvious to internet activists, the fact that elephant riding is harmless to elephants is actually pretty common knowledge to the people of Thailand. So riding elephant is really very common to the people of Thailand and also using hook chains. So Thai people, especially for the new generation, who try to follow just only the social media and think that riding elephant is very bad and cruel to elephant. But in fact, especially for the veterinarians, for the elephant people, we don't see any scientific proof that when animal activists attack something like that. So, if the information on elephant riding and the use of hooks and chains are all just fake news, then why do these parks and sanctuaries still continue to market themselves without riding? Well, the reason is very simple. Money. Food is very expensive for these sanctuaries. Elephants can eat up to 5-10% to of their body weight. And when elephants can grow up to 2.5 to 5 tons, you can imagine that's quite a lot of food. Wow! And this is one meal for these huge elephants. Because of all this food, elephant maintenance can cost up to 30,000 baht a month. So to continue to appease tourists and keep the money flowing in, they're forced to adopt a no-riding, no-hook and no-chain policy. While the hook and the chain have become a symbol of cruelty to the uninformed tourists, they are actually essential tools to ensure the well-being of the elephant. These are simply tools. They're used to keep an elephant safe as well as his mahout safe. It can be used wrong, but most times it's used properly. So when these tools are taken away, this creates a certain set of problems. Even without hooks, some hoods carry hidden knives or nails that are invisible to travelers. And this can be even more dangerous to the animal. When they say that no hook, no chain, sometimes they have a nail inside their pocket. When a fan do something, they put a nail. Or they use a knife. So most of the people, they don't understand that hook cannot kill elephant, but knife can. At the end of the day, these tools are meant for safety, to control the animal in emergency situations. So without them, this creates a safety risk for not only the mahouts, but also visitors that are near the elephant. Just last year, there were three reported cases of mahouts being killed by aggressive elephants at sanctuaries that had a no chain, no hook policy. This really begs the question, is it worth it to put human lives in danger just for the sake of the facade of an ethical elephant welfare camp? Despite these problems, the root of the misconception stems from the viral videos of baby elephants being mistreated by their mahouts. While this is unacceptable behaviour, in reality, this is actually the exception and not the rule. Some still use the old, old school way, like a beat elephant, but uh, now on, most of the mahout now, they are educated and then they learn that to use the positive reinforcement is the better way to train the elephant. Sometimes they still use the hope if the elephant is like our control, the purpose of the safety. Some people have proposed releasing them into the wild as the most ethical solution to the problem. However, it does come with its own set of issues. In the wild, elephants are facing a lot of problems. Loss of habitat, human encroachment, there's no wild place left anymore. People's influence are in all of those places. And with people's influence comes things like poisoning, electrocution, being run over by trains, you name it. The wild is not necessarily a heaven for elephants. Ultimately, the situation is far from black and white. The presence of hook in the chain does not indicate that elephants are ill-treated. Neither does its absence mean that the elephants are well taken care of. It's really up to the individual parks and sanctuaries to decide how they want to take care of these elephants. So, when you do visit Thailand, just remember not to get swayed by the opinions of the masses, but to do your own research and understand the bigger picture when it comes to elephant conservation. Whatever you decide to do, just remember, an elephant never forgets. Bye-bye. 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 Ayo. Bye.